Okie dokie. Alright guys, so we're going to try an interesting build order here, and this is to build a uh, disruptor without bomber tech or without a service depot or carry or even a pad um, or even a component. Uh, the idea here is to get to um, an attack as soon as possible. This of course is only possible on a 2 versus 2 map because you need to rely on your ally for building the carry uh, the carry alls, uh, which means they also need to build a uh, service depot and they need to build um, a pad. Okay, so let's do some scouting. Um, the idea here is that uh, you have Nod having the huge advantage of being able to build an attack, um, or I should say send out an attack uh, much faster than GDI. That doesn't mean they land their attack faster um, because their subs are actually quite a bit slower, but they get their attack out one refinery earlier. And that's because they don't need to build a, ta um, a pad, they don't need to build a service, and they don't need to build a component tower. Uh, and you add all those things up, um, and there's 1,200, what is it? 1,200 for the service depot, uh, 600 for a pad, 200 for a component, and that is, as I said, a full refinery um, ahead of GDI. So they always get the right of first attack. So if we're able to... Um, reduce the service depot so 1200 for the service depot um now again we aren't building com a component tower yet i'm going to build this after this is a, a trick that i saw ray use um actually no we're going to go straight to a gdi tech center we're not going to get a pad we're not going to get a service we're going to rely on our ally who's going to be in top left to provide these to us and we're going to get two disruptors really really quickly and of course because they don't need to build a tech center they just need to build a pad and a service um and sell that straight away and there's our disruptors um being built literally let's have a look at the math so 600 was it six no 500 okay so it's 1900 1700 plus 200 for the component means that we're um 1900 dollars um ahead in terms of a build order um, so if our ally provides those two uh, carry-alls via the service depot and the helipad without teching, they can always tech afterwards, then we've got our attack out literally almost a refinery faster um, than we would if we had to build a pad and a service depot. So very, very fast um, build order. And you could probably even do this uh, yeah, as a 2-ref or a 3-ref or a 4-ref, um, but extremely fast. Now, the only issue is... You need to, oh, well, there's two issues. One is that you need to coordinate with your ally for the service depot and the helipad, and you need to have that conversation beforehand and know, I think it'd be a four ref for you and a three ref for them. Because again, the bottleneck is um, the, not the disruptors, it is the service depot. Because as soon as you tech up, you're building the disruptors and you're already uh, $1,200 into a the first disruptor by the time you've finished and placed the service depot. At which time, then you're building um, two eight hundred dollar um, carries. So the carries always finish last, um, and that is the bottleneck. So uh, that's why I was thinking if you have the carries, and also it takes time to fly from top left down to bottom left. Make sure we power on to get the tech. Um, okay. 850? 750, okay. So 750 each. Um, really interesting, guys. So as I said, your uh, ally would be providing the um, carry-all. They'll be sending it down. So um, they would be ahead by... I'm not sure how it would work out, but I think they would 3-ref, you would 4-ref, and they would then fly down the carries and they'd they'd give you control and then you would just put the carries on top of your disruptors and fly them out. And you'd literally save $1,900, not in build cost, because um, I don't think that's important, but the build speed of, of spending $1,900. So rapid fire attack. And in fact, this build order should um, put you on par with Nod because you're not building a component until after. You're not building a service or helipad. You're going straight into tech. Now, the disadvantage of this is that you don't either have service and you don't have bomber tech. Um, but I think the advantage of having a, an attack out maybe I'd say maybe 15 seconds or 19 seconds faster um, could be absolutely crippling because well I mean 
put it this way, it's going to be two and a half Titans faster. So three Titans is 24. Well, okay, yeah. So two and a half would be something like 2,000. So your opponent would have um, two and a half less Titans in their base when you land with your Disruptors if you time everything perfectly. Very interesting um, build uh build order i'd love to see this done and see how ill-equipped um the opponent is in fact i think that uh this really could become um, op because it is literally two and a half titans ahead of your opponent so um yeah have a play around with it if with your ally and um share it with me if it works i'd love to see you know how it goes but i think the disadvantage of not having bomber tech is definitely worth the 19 seconds uh, or whatever it is, or the 2.5 Titans that your opponent would have, um, you know, because your ally will actually be able to build the bomber tech. And in fact, you shouldn't even build, be building a service. It should be that your ally in competitive games builds the services and provides you with the carry alls, um, and then they later on will tech up and get the bomber tech. Um, there's no reason you both need bomber tech. Um, there's no, particularly, there's no reason for you both to have um, service depots. So. Anyway, interesting thought and I'll um, catch you in the next video.